Hey everyone, Brent here with the DroidDemos.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys another Evo 3D ROM. This is Sixth Sense VX. Uh, it's a completely rebuilt version of Sixth Sense. Uh, we were on 3.0, um, but Smokin' 1337 uh, decided to uh, rebuild the ROM. It's built on Haas's ROM, uh, and it's definitely got some great improvements. Um, uh, it's built on Haas's ROM, but it brings in a lot of the advantages of uh, a lot of other different ROMs, and uh, I'll cover that in a bit. Um, but just right off the bat, um, it uses some of Synergy edits. Uh, so if you use Synergy's ROM and you like that, it'll have some of those speed tweaks. Um, it is undervolting compatible, um, so that's good to uh, squeeze out a little extra battery life. Um, it has native screenshot built in, uh, but most devs are including that now uh, that they got that figured out. Um, as for the apps, uh, we have all the sprint bloatware uh, removed from that uh, the ROM, so you won't have to worry about any of that. We still have the HTC apps in here, but you can remove those if you want. Uh, a few other things, we have Netflix, uh, Polaris is still in here. Um, we have the Wi-Fi Tether app. I like that better than the Sprint Hotspot, so you can get 4G. Um, we have ADB Wireless up here, ES File Explorer, which is my favorite one, as opposed to Astro. Um, and all the uh, built-in apps are updated, including the uh, New Market app. Um, and uh, now back to performance. Um, we have auto battery calibration built in, along with some other battery improvements. Uh, something pretty cool called the configurator. Uh, if we just go in terminal emulator, go ahead and click SU to give super user access, and then we can go ahead and type CC to bring up the menu. And now you see here we have a lot of different options. This will give you all the different um, <coughs> performance tw performance tweaks that you can make. It has uh, the Tiamat um, kernel built in, so we can overclock up to 1.8. Uh, and you can control those in here if you don't want to use set CPU or another um, overclocking app. Uh, but we can do that all right in here so it does it at the kernel level. Um, so we see uh, CPU governor, we can edit that. We can edit the max and minimum CPU frequency. Here are the options to undervolt. Uh, SICK um, uh, tweaks right here, so we have the, the ROM specific tweaks. Uh, virtuous overclock, you can configure that if you want to. Uh, we can adjust the brightness of the uh, capacitive icon or buttons right here at the bottom. Um, there you go. We can change the brightness of those if we want to do that. If they're a little too bright, you can change it. Uh, we can back up and restore apps within here. Uh, we can restore back and restore the settings that we have. Um, we can uh, install new boot animations through here and a few other things as well. Um, so definitely a great imp uh, great thing to add. Uh, this is kind of similar to the ed uh, the uh, functionality that Viper Boy has built into um, his mod. Um, so this is pretty nice. I like it. Uh, so um, we also have uh, tweaked GPU settings and um, another uh, ROM's improvements we have in here are the improvements from Xron. So we have Xron, Synergy, Haas's ROM, uh, we have Tiamat's kernel, we have Viper Boy type um, edits with configura Configurator. Uh, so really this ROM brings in the best of all different worlds. Um, all the different ROMs we have for the Evo 3D uh, you can probably fi find something in here from all of those, and it re really brings it all together to uh, give you a really f high performing, fast, uh, great battery life ROM um, if you uh, make the changes that you can make with this. Uh, so definitely check it out um, and uh, let me know what you think. Again, this is Six Cents uh, VX, uh, it's the latest version. Um, built uh, from the ground up from Haas's ROM, so definitely check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, this is Brent from the DroidDemos.com. Thanks for watching.